So this is a short tutorial of our shader and add-on basics. And so let's just start with it. You can see that I'm using a free model from Polyhaven. I will leave a link in the description. And I will just start adding smart weathering, clicking on the active button. You can see that it immediately adds a node in the setup. And the node panel is now available. And now you can see how you can easily add weathering effects to your base shader. In this case, I enabled the worn effect by clicking on the eye icon. And here I am just adjusting the fake border color. I can add a plain color or plug the albedo information of the base shader. So it creates a seamless transition between smart weathering and the base shader. And now it is a matter of taste. I'm just adding a different amount of bubbles. I'm playing with the rust intensity and adding some dripping effects. You can see that I can control the extension of them. And the amount of these drippings will visually vary if I have more rust on the object. Once I get the look that I want for this effect, I can turn it on or on off and check the difference with my base shader and start playing with another effect. In this case, I will enable the dirt one and the default values are very good, but I will just start playing with the randomizer that we have in our custom UI. This will change the different parameters of the effect and give a different starting point. Now again, this is just a matter of adjusting a few things, in this case the cavities. And once I'm happy with the result, I can stack different effects. In this case, I stacked the worm, dirt and dust. And I'm noticing that the normal map of the base shader is kind of lost. This is because the reveal shader overrides it. And if you are really interested into recording that detail, you can plug it in into the base pump input and enabling it using this option in the worm effect. You can see now the reveal shader has this detail on it. And the moment that I change the top corrosion, for instance, and retouch the amount of rust, this detail is preserved. Another great tip is that if you are not going to do a very close up render, enabling the option to optimize it, this will have minimal impact visually and it will help a lot with performance. This option is available in the dirt effect and in some other effects as well. And this will be the finished piece. To show other tips, I will add another object. In this case, it is a barrel. And what I want to show you is that once you get all your settings done, you can easily copy and paste them into another object and it will have a similar weathering effect. And you will have to adjust some minimal things like the fake border color that again, I'm using the albedo map from the base shader to give this information to the node. And keep in mind that all these outputs as they are procedural will consider the object orientation. So if you rotate it, you will have a different output and you may see some artifacts. And in order to correct this, you will need to add a custom texture coordinate node, pick a reference object, plug it in and enable using it. So you can see that now if I rotate the object, there are no artifacts. Also, of course, you will be able to do the opposite, make some changes in this setup, like adding more rust from the top and more bubbles and copy it and paste it. In this case, I use the option to also apply the texture coordinate node. So I don't have to create again a custom texture coordinate for that object. And one last tip to improve your workflow while texturing is to use the hide and show buttons that we added. Hide will hide the smart weathering from all the objects and you can use the eye icon to enable it using it in the object that you're currently texturing. And once you're finished, you can press on show and all the smart weathering from all the different objects will be restored. Well, that will be it. This is again the short version of an extended tutorial we have. Um, if you need more information, please see that tutorial and let us know if this short version is better for you in the comments. And well, see you in the next video. Saludos.